Hey guys, it's Bailey, and this week we're talking about perfect book presents. And so, basically I'm going to talk about what books would be perfect to get for someone who loves books. Um, specifically YA, because that's what we do here. Um, yeah, that's what we talk about, right? My Okay. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, okay, so, the first book... Okay, these are, most of these are ARCs because this is the closest shelf that I could find to get some books from. So, this is not the finished cover for some of these. Um, so the first one would be Touch of Frost by Jennifer Estep. And this is such a great book. Like, um, I think I've talked about this one before. Um, it's, there's a lot going on and um, lots of mythology and the main character is awesome. And she's not like a wimp at all. She's really cool and she has these powers where when she touches something, she can like see what happened and she can feel like the emotions that the person was feeling when they touched that object. So it's really, really cool. And I haven't really seen something like that in any other book. And she goes to this school where there are like these tons of other different um, mythological beings. You know, like there's like the like Romans, I think. Spartans, Spartans. There's the Spartans, there's, um, let's see, uh, Valkyries, and pretty much any being you can think of. I mean, there's, like, ninja-type things. I mean, things from different, um, different, um, mythologies, Egyptian, anything, like, yeah. And it's really, really good. And if you really want to get a book for the person in your life, you should definitely think about this one. And probably the sequel, too, because... I, they're gonna love it. Or you can get it for yourself. I mean, hey, gift yourself a book present. Um, the next one is Firelight by Sophie Jordan. And I love this book so much because Jacinda is an amazing heroine. And, you know, she makes you feel, like, really confident and everything. And you feel like you're Jacinda and you're, like, a dragon. You want to be a dragon. And... The cover's really pretty, so it would be perfect for the person to put on their shelves to display. I mean, I know I have the finished copy over there sitting prettily on my shelf. And the second book, Vanish, is also really pretty. It's like a bluish cover. Hold okay. It's like this. See how cool is that? I mean, I love, love the covers for that series. Okay. The next book... I honestly, if you haven't read it by now, you are insane because this book is freaking awesome. The Uncoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hopkin. And I can't really say much about this one because the less you know going in, the more you're going to enjoy it. And yeah, it's lots of suspense, mystery, like paranormal aspects thrown in. Um, there's a little bit of romance and... Um, the romantic interest, um, if you're a girl, Noah is very amazing, and you will like him. I can guarantee that. And isn't this cover so awesome? Like, really? Yes. Get this for the person in your life, or get it for yourself for Christmas, because it's awesome. And you should not go without this book. The next one is a recent release. Um, it's Catching Jordan by Miranda Keenly. And this one is about, like, a girl who's on a football team and she's the quarterback. And basically it's, like, a love story because there's this new guy in town, Ty Green, and he's also a quarterback and they're kind of competing. I don't know. She, like, her team loves her and everything, but he's also a star quarterback and there's something going on there, you know. he's He probably wants to be in her position, but... Anyway, this is really awesome, and the way that um, Keenly writes is, like, so real, and I just, I love Jordan. She's awesome, and she's not afraid to say what's on her mind, and, I mean, the, like, I wasn't expecting where the romantic um, plot went at all. I, I mean, I wanted it to go that way, but I was like, no, it's going to go that way? Are you serious? Like, yay! Um, so, yeah, um... Definitely get this if you're thinking, if you don't know what to buy for someone and you're like, they like books, get this one because it's awesome. 
And it's only $8.99. How awesome is that? I mean, really, like, no books are $8.99 these days, especially YA. I mean, you can get, like, a romance novel, like a small one, for $7.99, but you cannot get a YA for $8.99. This is a good deal. And then you should also buy Half Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And I've talked about this one, um, like, once or twice before. And it's really awesome and amazing. And definitely consider getting this one because it's, like, wow. And I just got the second one, actually. So I'm so excited. Um, that's not really related to this. But, um, yeah, and the cover is really pretty. So they can display it on their shelves. Yes. Um, the last book that I think you should probably consider getting for that person in your life is Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. And um, I love this book so much. Like, this is probably one of my favorites of 2011. And it's just, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, wow. Wow get this and look how pretty the cover is it's shiny and the finished copy is shiny too um yeah but um those are all the books I think you should consider getting for a fellow reader or of course yourself I mean who am I kidding I get Christmas presents for myself sometimes especially since my birthday falls around this time and I get gift cards I'm like like, I, I, my birthday is the 21st, so I always, like, I usually get gift cards around that time and money, and so I always go to the store the next day and get myself books, which is kind of bad in a way because I don't know if my parents got me those books, but I really cannot wait to get them, so I buy them anyway, and they're basically my Christmas presents, slash birthday presents, yeah. Well, anyway, on a different subject, um, you should also consider getting them bookmarks. Look how pretty bookmarks are. You can, like, you don't even have to give them a book. Just give them a bookmark if they love, like, books and anything. It, 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 it like, you can go buy, like, a cheap, like, um, a, an expensive one at Barnes & Noble. They have some really cool ones there. And they have, like, puppy ones, you know? Like, there's, like, four little bookmarks. They're small little bookmarks. They have puppies on them. They're so cute. Um, but I have a lot of bookmarks, so I have no excuse to buy them. Um, but I would definitely buy them for someone for Christmas. And I'm kind of considering doing that, actually. Um, yeah, but definitely bookmarks. Bookmarks are good. I like bookmarks. Um, or, like, if you're, like, um, a blogger or if you want swag, I mean, swag is pretty cool to give. I mean, it's like a pen, like anything bookish. Um, like a book bag to put their books in or, like, something that says, I love books. Maybe a shirt that says, I love books. I mean, you want to show your love of books, right? I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I have to recommend. Um, I hope you have started your Christmas shopping. I know I have barely started, so I have a lot more to do. And I hope this kind of helped you if you didn't know. I mean, um, yeah. So I will see you next week. And happy shopping.